hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i actually no i want to do a disclaimer so basically in my videos i never want to come across that i know everything i never want to come across that i'm preaching to you i never want to come across that i know it all or anything like that because i do not trust me i am still learning I just want to just encourage people and to give advice and to help people because yeah like why not I'm still growing I'm still learning I just want to just share um, my experiences with you as I always share my experiences in my videos when I do these sort of videos yeah so I just wanted to say that but in today's video I just want to talk to you guys about being a witness for Christ so um, for me growing up uh, I got saved at the age of 14 so I was quite young and quite was it ripe if that's the word you use like you know when you get saved at a young age you're just like witnessing to everything that breathes you know you're witnessing to the trees you're witnessing to the cars okay this is a bit dramatic but you get what I'm saying and I have had my fair share of a very very small scale of persecution because I don't want to ever take away from those in third world countries or even you know just people are just getting spat upon killed beheaded all of this crazy stuff for their faith I you know oh, I just yeah I just don't ever want to take that away from them when you're you know witnessing to people you know you you get them names like bible bashel jesus freak or your high and mighty and they're just mocking christ the name of christ and all of that stuff and you know you as a christian you can just get disheartened and discouraged you never thought that you would get all of this name calling and all of this abuse as a grown up i have been called names and you know like when you're first getting saved you just you, you can get it's really easy to get discouraged because you're new to the faith and you just never would have thought it would happen to you but it does it's hard it's hard to it's hard to know that that it's not it's not basically it's not a personal attack on you it's just remembering that the bible says that the world hated christ before it hated you so we just have to remember that yeah we're gonna get people family members our peers that are just gonna mock us for our faith and call us names or they're gonna think that we're all high and mighty that we're living a lifestyle that are them um, that is different from theirs but you just have to remember that it's not a personal attack it's the christ in you i just want to encourage you guys just to keep going don't let anyone dim your light you know when attacks happen you just have to just be strong yeah just be strong and pray and just confide in your friends that are believers because trust me they will know what it's like every like i'm sure every christian will know what it's like to have people mocking them for their faith yeah and i just want to say just to be an effective witness as well it is not just in your words you know words are great because words are powerful words have life the bible is a two double-edged sword it gives life it is life it is everything but it's your actions as well actions speak louder than words it's for example the bible the bible says that christ died for us while we were still sinners and you're reading that and you're just like okay that's just words but the action behind it christ actually died for us it's just powerful just to know that yes the bible says that you know just to think the action behind it is just like yeah okay god you know loved the world so much but he backed that up with actions he backed that up with actions and that's the most powerful thing that is by actions so by our lives by being a good witness for christ by making a stand like okay they're doing this that goes against my beliefs so I'm gonna do this and just and I'm not saying no you can't hang around with them like no mm -mm, not at all but it's being the light because either, either you're gonna influence them or they're gonna influence you it can hurt especially when it's coming from like family members or your closest friends and you know they're mocking you for your faith and they're just like no I don't want to hear it but you just have to remember that like the parable of the sower I will link the story down below so you can have a read and 
the there was many different incidents where the soul fed on good grounds it was ones where the, the bird will come and take the seed away just to be encouraged that when you maybe witness to someone they don't want to hear it or they may do want to hear it and maybe they don't want to give their life to christ at that time it's best just to take it to god in prayer and just pray over them and just pray for their soul and pray for their lives because it's god that does the work at the end of the day it's not us we're just the tools to bring the message it's god that seals the deal is it's god's power christ that saves it's not us us humans we can't save people we are only the tools we can only preach the message but we can't you know save their souls or anything like that so don't do me a like for no one i just hope that this video has encouraged you keep going keep the faith keep being encouraged don't let name calling stop you from being a witness to christ but so guys i'll see you in my next video um share like comment subscribe and all of that good jazz if you liked this video and yeah bye guys mm -hmm.